All right, Justin, so uh, this venison, did it get taken down by a uh, rifle or bow? I smacked it in the head with the shovel over the fence last week. Savage. Yep. St. Shamrock and Savage, burger review number two. Number two. Hanging out at the back 40, for those of you who don't know who back 40 is. That's what I call my house and business. So we had some uh, venison mixed in with some beef, yeah? Yes, sir. We took took a few pounds of ground venison, and we took uh, a few pounds of 70-30 hamburger, just for that fat content, because venison is super lean. And if you're not careful, the burgers will be very, very dry. They're, they won't turn. So took the took the ground venison and the burger, got it mixed up good, and formed seven pounds into eight patties. Then went outside and I had the fire pit going with just some trash maple and had the idea to go ahead and pull out some pear wood. So we got the fire, the coals going with some pear wood, um, got that down good, put the grate on it, put the burgers out there, and cooked them over open flame and smoke for probably about 40 minutes or so. Yeah. 40 minutes moving them around and then we put um, two full slab, two, two one pound slabs of bacon on there, cooked that down over the pit fire, melted the cheese. We had cheddar in my Swiss. Travis decided on one of his burgers, he needed some pimento cheese. So we stopped at Fast For You there in Ornogo, Missouri and got some actual homemade pimento cheese. And it was on fire. So we had a venison burger with a 70-30 beef, bacon, I had a little bit of mustard on mine, as well as the pimento cheese on half, and I also had Swiss uh, on the other Swiss half. on the other half. So I give it five shamrocks <laughs> out of five, not because he's sitting here next to me. That burger was on point. Yeah, because we also, as the bacon was getting done, we also put it back on the burgers and let the bacon finish cooking on top of them. So that bacon grease dripped down over them. So that was a little added flair. So he got five shamrocks. I don't know that I really want to rate this one because I'm pretty conceited about my own cooking. So we'll just leave it as it, they turned out all right. And anybody who knows me will know what that means. All right. Thank you, guys. See you on the next one. Peace.